Hi there, my name is Alicia Rosado, and I am from Connecticut, Gales Ferry, Connecticut, if you wanted to know specifically. And my work background, um, first job was at a grocery store as a bagger, <laughs> um, cashier. But my current job, um, I've been there for a few years. Uh, it's a youth theater arts organization called Writer's Block Inc. But basically we use arts, we use theater to address um, social issues through our productions and art. So yeah, that's, that's a little bit about me. Um, experience that I've had in the motion picture industry, other than playing an extra and being on set for that film, Uncut Gems, came out a few years ago now. Um, I've had no private experience other than that. Um, so yeah, and now any um, interests or goals. So I've always, I've always loved film, motion pictures, and I've always, even though I don't know what it takes to make a film step by step, I don't know that process. From what I've seen and know, it looks fascinating and amazing in my eyes. Um, and I know that wasn't the question, but I'm saying all that to say that that along with my, my passion and my love for script writing and playwriting at my current job, I'm the creative writing coach and the script supervisor. So um, doing some playwriting already has led me to screenwriting and an interest in that. So my main goal I would say for now is um, screenwriting diving into that, learning more about it, and hopefully doing that <laughs> in the industry. Um, I would just love to create excellent, excellent stories, powerful ones, impactful ones, and yeah, ones, ones that mean something. <laughs> and so now um, a challenge. Um, at my current job, a few summers ago, there was a student who I came across and she was crying and she was very hysterical and I asked what was going on and she has she had a very very negative view about herself about her her appearance she thought that she was like ugly and that she needed to lose weight and she did not <laughs> um but how I how I handled it was first and foremost telling her encouraging words that she is a beautiful young lady and that she shouldn't think thoughts like that about herself and she shouldn't entertain things like that um, cause that'll just spiral into something that isn't, isn't true, isn't real. Um, and so I spoke uplifting words. I encouraged her and gave her a few minutes to cool down and breathe cause she didn't want to be seen by like all the other kids. And, um, I also reached out to her sister cause I knew her older sister and I just said, Hey, in case you didn't know, this is what's going on with her. And I just asked that you keep an eye on her and encourage her too because she needs that and um she was already w aware of that um but yes unfortunately she didn't come back much after that but that is how i handled the situation and responded to it um now something that frustrates me is i would say um unkind people <laughs> or impatient people which that that sounds pretty vague but i think it's that along with just the lack of consideration um, that some people can have when they are like that with others. Um, they don't consider how their attitude is negatively affecting the other person or persons. And I am not better. <laughs> I am not perfect. Um, I can probably be the same way. I can be the same way. But um, just seeing that and just seeing the lack of consideration is something that's it's pretty it's frustrating. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I said that smiling, but um, now an excitement is I, it's with very, very specific films and games, but I, when there's a film I like or game that I like that I'm really looking forward to, whether it's a franchise or just something I heard about and I'm excited about, I keep up to date with it like a lot. I find out right away like when it's going to be released. I keep up to date with who's being cast, all that good stuff way before it comes out. Um, but I'm saying all that to say that when I go on YouTube and I see the trailer drop, I, I don't know what it is, but I, I scream, I get, I get excited, I shout, and it's, it's a, 
it's a great time it's a beautiful thing so i would say that's something that really excites me and now something that's hard hardest thing i don't know if this is the hardest thing but i took this question and assumed it was being asked like what's the hardest thing in terms of a professional setting so um i would say professionally um hardest thing is at my current job back before covid days we every summer we made productions based on a social issue and i would say it was very very hard and challenging to have to be backstage while you know we're having a live production um having to keep track of all the kids all the young people making sure they were in their costume making sure they were on stage right before their scene um definitely was a scary time when they weren't ready and they weren't there um but yeah just having to keep track of that and also me and three other staff members we played small parts in the production so i would also simultaneously have to make sure i'm ready i'm in my costume i'm on stage when i must be um and it was with the other staff going on at different times it was like taking shifts with watching the kids backstage so yeah there was it was a it was a handful but i would say it it worked out well um i'm still here the kids are still you know here so it's great um so yes i thank you for listening and appreciate your time so thank you <laughs>